Hi, good morning. This is Elizabeth Griffin. You're in the author from South Philadelphia. And it is two days before the holidays. So happy holidays. I hope everyone enjoys their turkey day. So today I want to talk briefly about uh, the seasonal holidays as, and as it pertains to writing. So I have a friend who only reads um, holiday romances. And she starts uh, the during November, the big, right after Halloween, and she doesn't stop reading holiday uh, romances until uh, after the New Year's. So I want to talk about scheduling uh, your writing assignments and uh, considering your release dates and considering your calendar year and what type of material you want to put out. So uh, I'm from the United States and we have uh, multiple holidays. We have uh, Martin Luther King's uh, birthday, which we celebrate. It's a public holiday. We also have um, Black History Month. We have uh, Columbus Day, and I might not say them in order. We have President's Day. We have Valentine's Day. We have uh, Good Friday. We have Sun. Um, we have um, Easter Sunday, we have Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and of course, Happy New Year's. There's also Labor Day and Independence Day. So all of these holidays, you could uh, write a romance story uh, surrounding them. And uh, if you're not sure of uh, what to write or what type of assignments, you may consider writing seasonal work. Uh, if you do seasonal romances, however, uh, take into account that you should write them well in advance uh, so that you can promote them and market them around the holidays. So this is the ending of the year, uh, 2019. So at this time, you could be thinking about your calendar year for next year. So you can consider writing, uh, let's say for Valentine's Day. You can do a Valentine romance. Um, that would be something nice for uh, couples and uh, people that are, are are in love or wanting to be in love or hoping to be swept away by that season. So you may consider writing um, romances for, uh, uh, like I said, uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, I would also entertain the idea of even writing something around Martin Luther King's uh, birthday because of, of the civil rights movement and, and um, all the things that he's contributed to society as a whole. So you may want to talk about some of the political issues that are going on now um, as far as racism and as far as uh, people that are divided between uh, par political parties and how uh, people have different feelings, uh, strong feelings about the political climate that we're uh, in right now. So you may want to uh, use his birthday as um, a kickoff to address some of these uh, issues uh, in a romantic type of way. You could even talk about segregation and, and um, have we really gone gotten that far away from um, uh, segregation or are we cycling back around to that particular uh, point in history so that may be something that you would consider uh, or you may want to do something lighthearted like a romance uh, around the 4th of July or uh, Halloween that would be an interesting one uh, where you could do the paranormal uh, so consider the coming year consider the type of seasonal writing that you might be interested in producing and, and create a calendar, uh, create a release date. Uh, as a writer, you should always uh, have projects that you're currently working on, projects that you will be working on in the future, and then projects that are ideas. Uh, you should always be generating, pardon for a moment while this passes. Thank you. You should always be uh, generating ideas, uh, looking for ideas uh, wherever you uh, wherever you are, wherever you go. Uh, that should part of your mind should always be uh, on, so that when you see something, it'll trigger automatically. You know, that's a storyline, or that's something I could write about. Um, and let me hurry up and pass this truck because I think it may take off and make lots of noise, which will inter interrupt the uh, the video. So um, also. I mentioned Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving. My girlfriend uh, gave me a challenge, and I'm working on this currently, about writing uh, a holiday story around Thanksgiving. She says she sees Christmas stories and New Year stories, but nothing around Thanksgiving. So that's a personal challenge for me. 
So I hope you enjoy your holiday. Uh, there will be more videos to come. I just wanted to do this impromptu one uh, because I haven't talked to you in a while. And um, I've been busy with the NaNoWriMo. I haven't reached my goal. Uh, it is how many days left? Today is the 23rd. So, no, 20, no, 26. I am totally off. The 26th. So, we have four days left of NaNoWriMo. So, I hope your writing experience is going well. As I said, I'm well behind my word count, but that doesn't matter. I'm still going to write, still produce. Uh, there are a lot of things going on with me, uh, maintaining the YouTube channel as well as working on my appearance. Uh, I'm trying to remodel myself uh, to look, um, what do they say, make it until you fake it until you make it. Well, I'm not quite faking it, but I'm working on the word, wardrobe, I'm working on the attitude, I'm working on positivity, um, I'm listening to a lot of other YouTube uh, tubers and, and learning from them. I'm learning French and I'm learning Spanish. As I mentioned in earlier videos, I'd like to become a polyglot. So I'm on my way. This is the entry level. However, um, that's something that's going on with me. Uh, I'm going to be spending Thanksgiving with my father, who's 91, and my children, and uh, my brother, and other family members. So that's just letting you know a little bit about what's going on in my life. Um, as I said, happy writing. I hope you enjoy uh, your holiday. I hope this video has been helpful. And as I said, um, just recapping, uh, having a schedule, release, um, release dates are important. Even putting your books on um, Amazon and other websites as pre-orders can generate sales. So suppose you want to, uh, let's say, write something about uh, Easter or Passover or something like that, you could create a cover, uh, come up with a blurb, uh, which is telling about your story, and post it as a pre-order. And then that'll give you three months of time for Amazon, other places it's longer, in which to produce a short story or a novel, whatever your uh, framework as far as writing uh, is concerned, that's what you can produce. So pre-orders are definitely a nice way to... Uh, to get your material out there and to generate interest while you're still currently working on your pro project. So I hope to talk to you soon and I hope to, uh, to read some of your comments below uh, what you're working on and your views on writing and um, any subject that you may want to talk about in the future. Just uh, leave a comment below, let me know your feelings and uh, follow me. Oh, we can't go that way, the lighting is bad. The lighting is terribly bad. Uh, doing videos is interesting because you have to be concerned about the lighting as well. So, uh, as I said, um, leave comments below. Let me know uh, any subject that you may be interested in reading about. I mean, not reading about. Uh, you would be interested in having me discuss. And uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And as always, enjoy your holiday. Love, peace, joy. And bye-bye.